All right, guys, welcome back to Gardner's Orchard. It's a rainy day out here on the farm, so I figured I'd give you a quick update. I'm here with Farmer Dre, who looks like he's been beaten up, but he actually has, what is that? Poison ivy on my face. We were pulling out a fence line the other day, and we were pulling out a bunch of roots, and I didn't, I didn't know that the roots could still, the poison ivy roots could carry it. So you learn to live and learn every day, so I guess I have to suffer for a few days. So it is uh, what it is. Let's go see what's going on. Right, so I'm here in the high density system. As you can see, all of the trees, most of them have leafed over. What's it called? Yes, they, they came out, they're growing good. They're just, they, they usually, the nursery usually, you know, if you don't, if they don't, the trees don't make it, then we call them up and then they refund us our money. But, you know, they want to see all the trees come to life and leaf out. So, so far, so good. We only have a few trees in every row that didn't make it out, but, you know, you can't make, you can't have 100% germination or leafing out every year. So, all right, so it looks like most of the trees have made it, and we're pretty excited about that. Now let's go check in and see the older orchard and see what that's looking like. A bunch of blooms have come out, so let's go check that out. All right, so we're in, what kind of trees are these farmers? They're golden delicious on the uh, M26 rootstock. They're in their third year already, so we're gonna see our first crop off these trees. And since, since they're still young, we don't wanna overcrop them, so we're gonna come through on every tree and take out the, the side blossoms and leave that king blossom. The king blossom is the one that comes out first, that opens up. Here's a perfect example. That's the king blossom and opened first and these are just a side. So you wanna go ahead and pull all those off. So just have one fruit on there to pull down the branch. And we're gonna to have to come through every tree, the ones that have blossoms and do that. We're excited. These are the Golden Delicious. I mean, they're amazing apple, amazing fall time. And we're excited for this year, the first crop on them. Uh, crop on them so. All right, so these are in the third year. Let's go look at the ones that have been around for like 15 years here on the farm. Let's go check it out. All right, so I'm out here in our sun crisp part of the orchard. As you can see right behind me, all the trees are starting to bloom up. This is our sun crisp here. Farmer Dre, let us know what these are. So the sun crisp, it's a variety that most of the, you know, farmer's market consumer or growers have. In my opinion, it's as good or better than honey crisp. And I could back that up by the, the, the breeders who made this apple. It's a good apple. The only downfall, it doesn't store as real well. So that's why a lot, a lot of farmers market farmers grow this variety. So as you guys can tell, they're in full bloom. They're, these are on a M7 rootstock, so the trees aren't very big. Easy to pick, easy to grow, easy to maintain. So the apples are looking, I mean, looking like full crop on these, these apples. So looking enough forward for this year. Hopefully we don't get any more cold nights, any cold frost anymore. So it's just hope, looking for a good year. All right, so we're out here on the Berry Patch site with Farmer Dre and Farmer Val back there. Uh, what's in the trailer spreader back there? We got fertilizer, the N P and K, and then we got some pelletized lime. You know, we were you originally supposed to put the lime down and then the fertilizer, but we killed two birds with one stone, so we got the pelletized lime. So we're gonna do just one spray down the or one run pass through the, the through the field, and we'll get the job done. So we did a soil test last fall. And the nutrients in there are according to the soil test, so we get them ready for planting the blackberry. So, and what Farmer Val is doing here is we had a few bigger potholes. So what we're doing is we're leveling them out, spraying the fertilizer, and then we're going to till her up and plow the field and make the raised beds, get ready for planting. So hopefully in the next two weeks here we'll have a thousand blackberries planted. All right, so that's going on here. Let's go check on in the high tunnels. All right, so now we're inside this high tunnel. Look at these tomatoes since we've seen them last on the video. Man, they've grown like a lot, a lot, a lot. Farmer Dre, let us know what's going on here. So as you said, the tomatoes are growing good. A lot of heat, the temperature has been right. We've been opening and closing up the sides. Today's overcast, we're gonna leave them closed. It's really cold, pretty cold today. So the tomatoes, what I've been doing is just coming through here once a week, staking them up from, from falling in the, in, in the rows. And as you see over there, those are, we got fruit setting on. These are about about a little bigger than a, a little bit bigger than a quarter there. So we most about most of the the plants now have a good amount of fruit on them. You know, two three fruit fruit plant. There's a lot of uh, flower blossoms out here, a lot of blossoms. But I I just maintain them, make sure I I feed them the right nutrients, feed them the right water, and just let them grow, let them be, and hopefully about the middle of May we'll be picking tomatoes out of here. So. So we're out here in the greenhouse now. As you guys can tell, it's jam-packed full of stuff. We got the flowers, the begonias, the snapdragons, 
all going to be transplanted. We got a lot of tomato plants for sale now, so it's just you gotta keep them everything watered, everything going. We got, you know, it's looking beautiful this time of year, you know, just a bunch of flowers, just let them grow. And if you guys want some, come by the farm store, farmer's market, pick some up from us. They are for sale, so everything's what beautiful. What are these here? It well, these are good. the tomatoes you started. There are more tomatoes that are going in another tunnel we have here. So the same variety as Carolina Golden Red Deuce. It's just, and then we got a lot of tomato plants for sale, a lot of peppers. We got beef steak, big beefs, celebrities, goliaths, all kinds of varieties for sale for the home gardener. So come out and see us and uh, come look at our greenhouse. All right guys, thanks for coming by today and seeing what's going on here on the farm. Uh, for the ones that live here locally in the Springfield area, come out and see us. We got um, the greenhouse here full of plants. We're actually getting ready to open the Highway 13 farm stand. We got everything set up. So we'll be out there probably starting full time next week and farmer val and the roadside stand on west republic road it's still a few weeks away before that's open we're getting everything ready for that so if you have any questions or comments let us know below and until next time come see us at the farmer's market right here on the farm thank you guys thanks for watching